Not wishing to rent out my rectum to a Colombian drug cartel, I headed off to my old pal Pidgey's. But first, I had a task to fulfil. Your phone, as, as promised. And your phone. Thank you very much. Thank you. You haven't done anything unnatural with this, have you? There will be pictures of naked people fornicating on it, isn't there? Why would you do that? I haven't done anything like that, actually. I don't suppose I could buy you a drink. Do you know what? I would love a drink, but unfortunately I have the most god-awful dinner party to go to. Listen, Atkins, I've got the most dreadful dinner party to go to, too. I tell you what, let me buy you a drink for being so entertaining. Two vodka tonics, Immediately I knew that nothing else would... Thank you very much. Thank you. So, tell me about this horrible dinner party. Oh, well, mine, um, mine's with an old, old friend. Well, I call him a friend. He's actually not really a friend at all. We were at school together, and we weren't friendly there either. It's just somebody I avoided. If I could. Anyway, I bumped into him recently, and I'm going round to dinner to meet him and his wife, which is a miracle, because he buggered off the school by the time he discovered girls. Lovely man. <clears throat> Does his wife know about it? Yeah, probably. Probably she's some ambitious beard. I mean, because he's quite rich. Well, it's bad anyway. And if she doesn't know, then then she has to be like, like really thick, you know, or so hideous that it really doesn't matter at all. Im imagine like a breeze block in Paisley. It's just his type, actually. I know what. Why don't we both blow off our evenings? Let's get totally pissed. Pursuit, pursuit. It's me, dear Philip. Hello. Oh, for God's sake! Think that I have to earn a living. No, you know, I'd love to, um, but on Entmore and see the time. Well then, uh, bye then. Bye. You need money for the meter, money for the toll. Don't turn on the heater, daddy's on the dole. They tell me that the devil pays good money for your soul. We don't got no dough. Cut to the dinner party that was going to change my life. The mise-en-scene was pretty cool. A chic little media clan gathering at Itchy's achingly hip architect-designed apartment in Kensington. Cute. Very nice. Come on, me introduce. The well-appointed flat was matched by Itchy's verbal gatling gun, firing off all those awkward little personal details just to make sure that everyone feels like a complete dickhead, whether they wanted to or not. Not nice. Clodagh Morel, Canadian. She's our star feature writer for Cosmopolitan, or Hello, or Bloody Hell, or something. All those articles about multiple orgasms. Hello, Pursuit. Hello, Clodagh. Shaking hands with Clodagh Morel was an interesting experience. I'm pretty sure her index finger stroked mine as we touched. Possibly the most erotic thing to happen to a Pursuit digit in some time. Now on to Maddie, Maddie Forrester, my wife, pursued London's most ruthless, cruelly efficient and successful talent agent. I've tried poisoning her a number of times, but to no avail, she simply won't die. Five years of marriage to you, Charles, would bestow upon anyone a natural immunity to venom. You... you should have known him at school, Mrs. Forrester. I can't imagine Charles ever having been young. University, they used to say Maddie put the corpse into Corpus Christi. Such fond memories. 